Guys, this is Brian Midway, and we're just doing a little series of video clips to talk about uh, the idea of connecting with God through the Bible. Now, the Bible is a God book. Um, I think the Bible is Godville. When you when you go hang out there, you get to hang out with God. Um, just reading the Bible doesn't guarantee that you're going to connect with God. So, I'm just talking about the way that you can read the Bible so that uh, you focus on connecting with God, not just getting the information. And today I want to talk about the idea of identifying each standalone piece of information. And and on the on the screen here, you can see I'm just going to put it up there so you can see it full on. Yeah, there we are. Um, warning, warning, information before interpretation. And the Bible has information. But, as Paul said in, in 1 Corinthians, he says, you know, uh, we don't use worldly wisdom to communicate things of God. We speak spiritual words uh, by the Holy Spirit. And, um, and the person who recognizes what the Holy Spirit is doing can grab and encounter God through the words. And so it's not just a, we're not just propping up a better human theory here. We're actually... Uh, allowing God to speak to us through uh, the word that he's chosen. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this now. Uh, notice the information before you start the interpretation. I cannot tell you how how difficult this is for me because I'm an interpretation uh, uh, fa fanatic. You know, I'm, I'm um, now we just go there and I'm going to get my little word document up here because I have... Um, I have uh, put Mark 2, 23 to 28 there. I'll just tidy this up a bit. Um, uh, one day Jesus was going through one Sabbath. See, one Sabbath. Uh, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as his, disciples, as his disciples walked along, they began to pick up some heads of grain. Uh, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He answered, have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? Uh, in the days of Abiathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God, ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for the priests to eat. He also gave some to his companions. And then he said, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Now, that's a story, and I reckon if you just read that story, you might... Uh, remember two or three pieces of information, but I want you to just allow the information to come uh, up off the page and lodge somewhere inside of you so that you can think about the revelation that comes because of the information. Uh, information is simply, it's not a Holy Spirit activity. Information is a human activity. Revelation is a Holy Spirit activity. And so... Uh, we want to get from the information to the revelation. But if we go interpreting and getting meaning before we have the information, we'll miss it because we'll have the wrong meaning. God put this here, God put this story here so that we could get a message from heaven, so he could say something to us, so that it was him speaking and we knew inside what he was saying. So I'm going to show you a way of just simply allowing the information to kind of hang around with you and just notice it and be aware of it before you go to any kind of interpreting thing. And then it'll be the same thing that will give us the opportunity, I'll do it in the next, in the next session, uh, of testing what, what you think the message is by going back to the information and um, seeing whether your message is consistent with all the information. Uh, we're not going to just take rip a verse out here or a word and give some Greek meaning or something. We want to just get the story, get the information, get the flow of information. So here we're going to go. So I'm going to identify each piece of standalone information. That is, it gives us some information that is standalone. It, it will stand on its own. It gives us a a piece of information that we can look at in its own right. So, one Sabbath. Boom. Uh, there we go. One Sabbath. Yep. Jesus was going through the grain fields. Now, the reason we know that standalone information is because if I say to you, Jesus was going through the grain fields, that's a, that tells you something. It doesn't depend on something else just yet. It will for the meaning and for the interpretation, 
but it's a standalone piece of information. It just helps you to notice, that's all. That's all this is about. Uh, and his disciples, as his disciples, walked along. So the disciples were walking along. So that's good. We know the disciples were walking along. And they began to pick some heads of the grain. Once again, that's a standalone piece of information. We're just going slowly here. Um, the Pharisees spoke to him. They said to him, standalone piece of information. We know they spoke. Now we're going to see what they said. Look, why are they doing what is lawful, unlawful even on the Sabbath? And that's another piece of standalone information. Now there's a paragraph there and all that, but we're just looking. At Jesus answered them. Here's another standalone piece of information. Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? Okay, so I'm going to just put that there. You can fight me about this if you like. Um, uh, what David did when he and his companions were in need. Have you never read what David did? You might be able to split that up a bit more, but whatever, doesn't matter. In the days of Abiathar the high priest, that tells us when this happened, um, he entered the house of God. That tells us uh, the context, boom, um, and ate the consecrated bread. That's a piece of standalone information. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, which is only lawful only for the priests to eat. That's a stand alone in piece of information. And he also gave some to his companions. Stand alone. Then he said to them, Jesus uh, said, this is a second, another thing that he said, the Sabbath was made for man. Stand alone piece of information. Not man for the Sabbath. You might think that's one piece of information, and maybe it is. But all I want you to do is notice the information, each piece of information, because if the message, if God's going to give us a message here, it's going to come because of the way the information was connected in the original, um, the original story. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath, standalone piece of information. Okay, so there I've got a number of pieces of information. I could tell how many and so forth. I'm not going to worry about that. All I've done is set that up. Now I'm going to now talk about how we think even deep, more deeply about this piece of information and I'm not going to interpret yet. We're going to get information, make sure we got the information before we do the interpretation. But that's going to happen in the next session.